Hi my YouTube family, today is Thursday, June 29th. For all of my subscribers who have watched me, you guys already know I love Thursdays. And especially today, I was able to catch up with power, which, <laughs> anyhow. But I wanted to um, pretty much speak today about some adult content. So if you have small children, please monitor what they're watching at this time. Like, I'm really not even going to do any subliminal messages when it comes to this segment at all. I'm going to talk real talk and we're going to talk about it. Okay, so um, I did mention before that I had the chance of spending a few days with... Uh, few days, yes, with my two surgery buddies that came to Miami to have surgery out of town. So I appreciate uh, their visit, appreciate them here. They're still here at the moment recovering, thank God. But um, they picked my brain a little bit, you know what I'm saying? So I kind of want to share with you guys what they picked with me because clearly if it's a concern of theirs, it's most definitely going to be a concern of you post-op ladies as well as um, uh, you ladies who are considering having surgery. Now, I could only obviously uh, uh, give you from my advice, from my experience as a woman who is currently almost three months post-op, I do have some men that I am monitoring that is going to have surgery coming up and hopefully I will be able to get some kind of intel in that regard. But one of the first questions that um, one of the ladies asked me was, has my sex life changed since having a tummy tuck? Well, many of you women who have struggled with weight issues, I never had weight issues before, but since I pretty much had, you know, my children or whatever, I did gain a significant amount of weight. I was super, super uh, conscious of my body, meaning having sex with the light on, no. I was not doing that. I'm not shy about how I looked before. If you guys kind of want to see how I looked before, especially after losing a significant amount of weight due to my lap band procedure, please check out my Instagram page. Seriously, my confidence when it comes to taking off my clothes was at a negative zero. Did I look great like when I had on clothes? Absolutely. But I had no confidence at all in the bedroom at all for me to be like, yeah, it was good. So because of the fact that I did have a tummy tuck and I did receive a bunch of, uh, you know, removal of skin above my JJ, pretty much I would say for me, it is better. It is better um, because now I could feel a lot more, mind you, as I mentioned before, in my previous video, when you first have uh, sexual intercourse with having a tummy tuck, one, my first encounter after having a tummy tuck was in my faha because I felt secure like that. It's difficult. It's difficult because your hips hurt, your, you know, your, your lower abdomen is completely numb. Your mind and your lower body is not going to connect your first time, which meaning at one point before having your surgery, you may, you know, was a person that was very lubricated. But then after having surgery, you're like, what's going on? Like, is this as a result of the surgery? It is as a result of the surgery, but it's just because your mind and your lower body did not really connect yet, which is what I told you guys. And the good thing about it is I did confirm from several of my surgery buddies who I am currently monitoring, they did say, you know what, you're right, duh. And then pretty much when I first did it, I, you know, adult content, I did it standing up, you know, from the back standing up because I, I I didn't know my mind and my lower body did not connect for me to be on the freaking straddling the horse it, you know it the coordination would have been off it just would have just been a complete and utter mess but at the same time it did eventually my mind and my body did eventually connect 
I did actually effectively at some point, you know, was able to get back on the horse and do what I was supposed to do. And um, the lubrication part did come. Now, I did actually, you know, pick my husband's brain, which who knows if he knows I'm talking about this. But um, pretty much, I did pick his brain and ask him if, you know, if he felt that things in that department was better. And he said he has to admit, yes, it is. I am more confident now. I'm walking around half of the damn time when it's time for me to have my faha break. I'm walking around now pretty much with, you know, with feeling confident. I'm able to get on the horse feeling confident. So I must say that I do feel that it gets better and it gets better because one, your body has significantly changed. Your appearance has changed. Your attitude is going to change. And you are going to be like, I'm back. I was lost for a few years, but honey, my ass is back. So pretty much, yes, it will get better. It will feel better. And you guys will definitely be able to connect on ways that you perhaps have not connected in years. Um, another question they said, did my, has your husband's attitude change since your surgery? Okay, so I have watched my husband. Okay, low battery, whatever. I have watched my husband weight go up, go down. He has the ability of gaining weight and ballooning to one size. And then all of a sudden in a month, he could go right back down to his size because he just has the agility and the, you know, to do these things. Women, on the other hand, we tend to struggle with this weight issue. And truth be told, um, you know, I've always, because of the fact that I've had an issue with my weight and I was insecure, now I'm not really insecure anymore. I'm more confident. So what I, the things that I used to wear, meaning sweaters to hide my arms and a, a, like something loose to hide my stomach. Like when we would go out, I'll find a purse or a big ass pillow and put it in front of me from sitting on a couch somewhere to kind of like hide. Ladies, you know what I'm talking about. When you go to these family barbecues or these cookouts and you sit your ass on the couch that got the throw pillows, but you draw for that big ass orange throw pillow and put it in front of you like you're leaning on it. No, we're trying to hide our stomachs. You know what I'm saying? Why would you go for the big ass throw pillow? Y'all know what I'm talking about, especially when you buy the clutch, you know, the the big ass clutch to hide her stomach. I know, I know because I've been there. And the truth is, like, um, his attitude has changed. And I feel that he's becoming a bit more aware that, oh my God, like, you know, look at her body, like, you know, my husband didn't know me back in the day when my body was fly as hell. You get what I'm saying? He don't know me back then. He met me middle age, like when I was ready to go downhill, when I started going downhill. I still looked good, but he didn't know me back then when I was just like, who? who? I'm sorry, who are you? You feel me? We all were there when we were just like type shit. So pretty much, um, I think that he's becoming like now when he sees me in like a full body Spanx where the ass is like, and the hips and the waist is like, he, this man is probably like, what the fuck is this shit? Because now he has gained weight because he's just been working or whatever. So now he's looking at me like, well, where, where'd you say you were going again? Because now my, your clothes, you're going to want to, shit, you just pet spend almost $7,000. Well, we're counting, we're adding it up because when you come back and you got to maintain this body, oh, the money is going to start adding up. So all of a sudden now, you know, you're going to want to start, you know, changing your wardrobe. You're going to want to 
buy clothes that's going to hug your body. You're going to love your body again. So of course it's going to change uh, the, you know, the attitude of your husband or your spouse or your significant other. They're going to be like, oh, really? Well, where the hell did you say you're going again? Oh, you're going to the grocery store? Okay. Okay, all right. Okay. Then the moment you drive by, hey, what you doing? I'm going to the grocery store. Oh, all right. Okay, well, oh, you're going to the grocery store? Yeah, I'm going to the grocery store. And then, you know, he'll drop little comments that, well, damn, because you're looking fine now. You know, I guess I'm going to have to find me a gym buddy. Or, you know, I guess I'm going to have to, like, you know, get myself back in the gym and stuff like this. So, yes, it is going to make them, I, I feel, a little bit more insecure about their appearance. A little bit more insecure within your marriage because you are going to change. And you are going to bloom like a freaking flower overnight. Overnight. The moment you come back from wherever you have your surgery, your partner is going to be looking at you like, God damn, what the fuck happened? Because you changed overnight. You know what I mean? They are going to want you a lot more. You know, obviously, you know, and I, and I say this all the time, and then you're going to walk on the streets and then people are going to like start hollering at you. Where the hell? You never hollered at me before. No, they didn't because they blatantly did not like what they see but now they like what they see you know what i'm saying then that that's how you're really gonna know man appearance is truly everything out here and it's definitely gonna put things into perspective for you because you're definitely gonna want to keep your body in check because now it, you now remember how it felt to pretty much have that confidence because you've lost it so many many years ago you know but um it is going to definitely change your uh, your relationships. Relationship with family, relationship with friends, relationships on how you see yourself. It's definitely going to change the way your coworkers see you. Because at one point you were dressing this way to go to work. And another, another moment you walk in, you're in that nice ass pencil skirt. And you're like, you know, your confidence just completely bloomed. You know? Another question they asked me was... How was your first menstrual after tummy tuck? Mm, okay, so one, it may be off. It, it may come, it may not come. It may come um, uh, late, but it is going to be heavy. And, you know, it's just not, the first one is not going to be the same as all your other menstrual cycles. It might be heavy or it might be completely light or it might not even come. But when it eventually does come, it is going to be heavy. And mine was heavy. And mine, I have an IUD. So pretty much having periods was super, super light. Um, you know, if it came, it came. If it didn't come, it didn't come. But since I've had uh, my tummy tuck, it has... Uh, been here every month since I've had it and it's just been really heavy like you know it like it doesn't even remember the days that it's supposed to come like it's supposed to end it's completely out of whack but I think ultimately it will balance itself out um am I more confident <sighs> yes I'm sure you guys could see that I'm sure you guys can appreciate that especially if you look at my first video between then and now I am way more confident, even though I am super, super humble because of the fact that I'm still going through the process. I'm still trying to figure out my way. I'm humble at the fact that, you know, I did pretty much make it sad to say, but, you know, some people risk their lives having plastic surgery, any kind of surgery. And I am humble. Some days I look at it like I went to war and I made it back, you know, more the I respect our our military a hundred percent, but that's just sometimes how it how it feels to me. You know what I mean? Like we're all we all read the news, we all hear what's going on around us. You know, you know I am I am super humble, but I'm very confident. And mind you, I'm confident now, being almost three months post stop, and I haven't even I'm not even nowhere close to the end of my recovery. But I am humbled, you know, you do actually get insecure now about other areas of your body for sure. Now I'm insecure about my arms. You know what? 
this plastic surgery thing has its ups and downs. I'm confident, but then you're going to get, you know, insecure about other areas. Man, I should have done my boobs. Damn, I should have done my ass. I should have done my arms. God, I should have done every freaking part of my body. My face, my chin, my neck, my, you know, it's just, it's just us as humans. Like, you're not going to be satisfied. And I don't think that, you know, you will ever see your body and be like, Damn, I look good. Okay, shit. Let me go and I do my face. And I'm like, shit, I should have done my nose. I should have done my eyes. I should have made my eyes closer. You know, it's just, a, it's just a thing, you know? But I am more confident. I am a lot more happier within myself. This is something that I wanted for myself. Am I done? No, I'm not done. Am I done with plastic surgery? No, I'm not. Do I want to do more things? Yes. But am I going to try my hardest once I get to the point of working out? I'm going to try to work out my arms. I'm going to try to, you know, do what I can first before I decide to go. I need to take out more out of my inner thighs. Medina does, did a very good job. But I had a lot of fat in my inner thighs. And truth be told, more needs to come out. But I am going to uh, allow the chips to fall where they they should be or they're they're going to be and then i will make a full determination f at that moment at my six month mark i'll make a determination as to what i'm gonna do next is it gonna be a priority for me no because i wanted everything to be done this year and i completely understand that next year i have things that i need to do so i'm not going to make that a priority for me next year i would prefer to put my time and my energy into working out and my money into more bigger things that I need to accomplish. Um, so that's pretty much the adult content. And I did tell you guys that your JJ is going to swell up. It's not going to look the same. It just may never look the same. It's brand spanking new. It's in a new position. Um... So you just got to get used to it, embrace it. It might be puffy because you might actually retain fluid in that area. You may have to drain it. You may not. Compressions may work. The truth is I wish somebody will come up with a compression garment for that area. Maybe I should damn well create it myself. But I'm still working on... on um ways to stay compressed. And that is one of my items that I am working on. I have not seen it, but who knows what's gonna happen with that um so uh that is i think my adult segment let me see if there's any more uh any more stuff that i need to cover on an adult but it is better ladies it is better it does you know you you it feels great especially when you got that new ass going you know so things are looking up definitely for sure um so i kind of want to give you guys a um a lap band update because i currently do not have this is for my lap band viewers clearly who have had the lap band my i currently do not have any saline in my lap band i do have 15 more to 20 15 to 20 pounds that i would like to lose to get to my goal and um, so I did go and I did have labs done recently and I'm happy to say that my hemo is a 12.8, which is pretty good. That means I could have more surgery. Just kidding. Um, <laughs> just kidding. But um, I did pretty much um, uh, when I got my labs done and my appointment to go to my O-band center which is my lap band people, is next week, Wednesday, Thursday, next week, Thursday. So I will know at that moment um, when I'm going to add more fluid in my band to make my stomach smaller so that I could proceed along with my surgery, my uh, weight loss journey. Um, so right, my appointment is next week. So I wanted to say, you guys know I'm all about my face. I'm all about my teeth. I'm huge. I use like whitening toothpaste. All oh, this is crazy. But my surgery buddy that came down here recently, man, like I really truly, 
I'm like one of these giddy people that I get happy over the smallest little things. But she freaking, look what she brought me, guys. Isn't this nice? Like, seriously. I'm all about my teeth, but man, how nice is it for her to get me a gift, right? I think that was so nice, and I wanted to thank her so much. She's recovering. Uh, her surgery went well yesterday. I am going to see her when I come back from Disney. I go, you see, I'm itching. I, di I go uh, to Disney over the weekend, and I am going to see her when I come back be to give her a farewell for her to go back home home but I kind of wanted to I'm coming in at 20 minutes but I kind of wanted to tell you guys thank you so much to everyone to all of my subscribers for watching me for rocking with me thank you so much guys I truly appreciate it honestly every single day I'm one of those people that write like the secret you know think of all of my things into existence and I you know uh, thank you guys so much truly honestly you guys have made you know me feel complete maybe this is just my calling but uh, thank you guys I'll definitely come back on and from Disney or wherever the hell I am to do my three month post-op video and I would definitely uh, let you guys know what I'm currently going through at three months what I'm feeling uh, and so forth and how my scar is looking I'll make sure you guys see that and um, yeah okay but have a good Thursday it's time for me to go and pick up Miss Allie but I wanted to do this video before I got her so that I could focus without her interrupting me but thank you guys so much for giving her so much love and support she is my little princess who loves Minnie and she's gonna be so floored this weekend when she gets the chance to see her but um so look forward to a great sex life people yes and that's what we do that's what us women do we try to have great sex lives. Okay, talk to you guys soon. Oh, look, guys, I got glitter on my nails. Whoa! Allie is going to love it. Bye, guys.